Winterscapes. Untraveled in winter, the little road lost itself. In the deep hollows, but high on each hill, it cut a small notch, then raced on triumphantly, sure of its way again, rambling at will. A partridge, a rabbit, a prickly young porcupine used its faint tracings each day for a guide. Sometimes a deer leaped over it gracefully or hid in the thickets that grew alongside. Skirting an oak ridge, it crawled through the cedars, marched with the jack pines across a white plain, circled the spruce trees that clung to their snow caps when the wind swept their branches with chilly disdain. Leaving the woodlands, it ran past a clearing, encountered a village and became the main street. Here, a fat snowman waved at children who poured out of school on scampering feet. At the first hint of twilight, lamps spread their amber through the gracious old homes. Then spirals of smoke curled up from the chimneys, then vanished like specters, wrapped in the shadows of night's velvet cloak. Beside a small brook at the edge of the village, the little road halted and crept into bed. Stars dimmed their lights and snowflakes came flying to nestle their counterpane over its head by Mary A. Selden.